Lesson 25, Curve Sketching 10, Oblique Asymptotes. Now we'll just check to see if this is an odd function. So we'll try function 1. That equals 1 plus 1 over 1, which is equals 2. And function minus 1 equals minus 1 plus 1 over minus 1 equals negative 2. Yes, in fact, it is. So function minus 1 equals minus function 1. So it's odd. Now, first of all, we'll see that uh, x cannot be equal to 0. So if x can't be equal to 0, that means we have an asymptote along here. That's the, the y-axis. But if x can't be equal to 0, then this part here can never be equal to 0, which means that function x can never equal x, because this will always have to be some value. So it will be x plus some value, plus or minus some value. So it, function x cannot be equal to x. Therefore, that means that this also, there must be an asymptote coming through here. All right, so we have these two asymptotes. Now we'll look at um, differentiating this function. So we'll see that f x is equal to x plus x to the negative 1. So differentiating this, we get 1 minus x to the negative 2. OK, so that's, um, we'll let that equal 0. So 1 minus 1 on x squared equals 0. Therefore, 1 on x squared equals 1. x squared equals 1. So x equals plus or minus 1. So we have two values here, plus or minus 1. When x equals 1, well, we've just done that. That's 2 and minus 2. So the stationary points occur at 1, 2, and minus 1, negative 2. Now, looking at the second derivative, f double dash x will be equal to, differentiating, differentiating this, we get the 2 comes down, we're going to get 2x to the negative 3, which is 2 on x cubed. At x equals 1, we can see that that's going to be positive, so this will be our minimum. And at x equals minus 1, we can see it's negative, so that will be our maximum. So we have a, a minimum turning point here, and a maximum turning point here. So we're all set to, to sketch this function. Okay, now I've drawn this, uh, this function. Uh, indicating the, the minimum turning point and the maximum turning point. And you notice here it's bounded by these asymptotes. So this will go up to infinity, and so this one. And this one will continue on this way, and so on. Now, if you look at the um, second derivative, you'll see it's 2 on x cubed. So this is impossible for it to be equal to 0, So which means, of course, there's no points of inflection. And we can see then by the fact that this is an odd function, this uh, meets those requirements that uh, we've got that lovely sort of symmetry here. Notice this time, now it doesn't go through the origin. Right? The asymptotes go through the origin. So it's quite an interesting curve, this one. Right, this is the second example of an oblique asymptote. Now, again, we can see that x cannot be equal to 1. OK, so we'll get a situation here. We'll have an asymptote x equals 1. And for the same reason before, this can never be equal to zero. So this must be some value. So our function x cannot be equal to x. So function x not equal to x. So here we have it here. There's the other asymptote there. Now it's pretty obvious it's not going to be an even or odd function, but we'll just take some values to show this. So function two, for example, is going to be two minus one over 2 minus 1, 1, so the answer is 1. So we have a point at 2, 1. 
that's quite a valuable little point there. So a little point here, two, one. Yeah, two, one. And we'll try function minus two, and we get minus two, minus one over minus two, minus one. Just watch the signs. Minus two, and this becomes here um, minus three, but that becomes plus a third. So this becomes minus one and two thirds as your other, other value here. So we got one at minus two, minus two, minus one and two thirds. So minus one and two thirds is around about here. Right. Now, this is a, a, a interesting function. So it's so watch what happens when we differentiate it. So that function x equals x minus x minus 1 to the negative 1. So f dash x equals 1. This becomes plus x minus 1 to the negative 2, which is 1 plus 1 over x minus 1 all squared. Now, we can see this will always be positive. So there's no way that we'll have any values here that'll make this zero. So this f dash x is not equal to zero. So we have no stationary points whatsoever. Okay. Now we can see here though um, that for um, f dash x is always going to be positive always going to be greater than naught because this is always positive and the model obviously is positive. So this means that the gradient must be always positive. In other words, the curves are always going to be increasing. So we take we, at this particular point which we found, we know that the curve is going to be increasing, going up. And it's going to go up to this asymptote and down to the other asymptote. And the same thing goes here. This will be going down to this asymptote and going up to the other one up here. Right, so we're all set to sketch the curve. Okay, and uh, there we have the curve. Now, I just, I just think I might have misled you a little bit and thinking that this was the asymptote. Now, this is the other one here, x equals 1. And you can see this uh, uh, quite a, a different curve, right, with no stationary points. And again, uh, no points of inflection. If you went ahead and differentiate that again, you'd find that you'd have, uh, well, it's pretty obvious from this, you have no, no points of inflection either. So it's an interesting curve.